Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Lenovo HW01 Fitness Tracker. This is a low-cost fitness activity tracker that sells for under 30 bucks and competes closely with the Xiaomi Mi Band 2 uh, because of the same price range, and it also offers continuous heart rate monitoring and a 0.91-inch OLED display. So the screen size is a little larger than Xiaomi's Band and it offers, again, the same functionality in terms of fitness tracking, being able to monitor your steps, your sleep, and your heart rate. Uh, so taking a closer look at the packaging here, very simple, and there's a free app obviously by Lenovo that you can download for iOS or Android, and it uses Bluetooth version 4.2, which is quite energy efficient, and it's also IP65 rated. Inside the box, there's access to the tracker itself right on top. It also comes in a red color, but we have the black version for review purposes. And the packaging also includes the charging cable. So if we take a closer look at this, you can see it's using a standard micro USB cable. So it's gonna charge up in under two hours. Battery life is rated at around five to six days before you need to recharge it again. And there's also instruction manuals printed both in Chinese, Korean, and in English. There's a QR code that you can scan to download the app more quickly. And there's also a service guide that you can take a look at down below. So taking a quick look at the design of the fitness tracker first, you can see that it is a fairly traditional looking tracker. It has a glossy display on the front, which does glare and reflect a bit of light. However, it looks fairly sleek and modern. And what's nice is the screen takes up a pretty large portion of the size uh, of, of the front, so it doesn't seem too cheap. This band itself is made out of a soft touch material that's pretty comfortable, and it's a unisex band that's gonna fit both men and women alike. The clasp is made out of metal, and below here we have access to the Lenovo logo, the heart rate monitor, and a rubber flap that covers up the micro USB charging port. We like the use of a standard port as opposed to a proprietary option, and the fact that you can just charge it without having to take it out of its rubber shell. So overall, the construction quality seems pretty good, even though the materials are predominantly plastic and rubber, as expected on a low-cost fitness device. And overall, again, it seems quite classy, and the size here is pretty small. I have it next to the Xiaomi Amazfit Arc, which is more expensive, but you can see that the size is similar and the functionality is also the same. Taking a closer look at the display, you can see that it's because it uses OLED technology, it remains pretty bright, and even if there's a bit of light that is glaring into the screen, you can still read the characters without any problems. And again, it does take up a large portion of the size of the band, which is good. It's a contrast with a lot of Xiaomi's designs, which are much smaller in terms of the display size. And although that conserves battery a little more, this seems more more modern and sleek from a design perspective. So you can see here we have access to the time and date information along with the battery status. The capacitive key is fairly responsive and I can tap on it once to look at my steps. The heart rate tracking also has a unique function. It starts after three seconds and there's also a smart sensor that Lenovo built in. You can see this logo that means that it has detected that you're not wearing the band and as a result it's actually going to stop the uh, heart rate measurement to conserve on battery. So only when you actually have your skin touching or covering up the sensor does the heart rate uh, tracking mode work, which is smart compared to a lot of other generic uh, fitness trackers in the market, which will, uh, you know, after 30 minutes record your heart rate regardless of if you're wearing it or not. So a lot of times it's going to be wasting battery. The next screen shows the distance you've walked in kilometers, and finally you have access to the calories burned before cycling back into the main menu. I can tap and hold on the capacitive key for a few seconds longer to enter my advanced settings. This one here allows you to record a timer so you can time a sport or activity uh, more intensively, and in this mode the tracker is also a bit more sensitive. The heart rate sensor tends to be on at all times during this mode just to record your heart rate continuously as you perform an exercise exercise such as swimming or jogging or you know sprinting. So it's a pretty cool function that works well. I can tap and hold for a few seconds longer to exit out of that mode. Tapping and holding again, I can take a look at my notifications, uh, setting you know, an alarm perhaps, it's going to ring after two minutes for instance, uh, and then tapping on this again, exits into the main screen, and finally I can tap and hold on the last button here to turn the band completely off to conserve in battery. Pairing the band with the app is fairly straightforward. It uses, again, Bluetooth 4.2, which has a connection range of roughly 10 meters or 33 feet. The app features a binding screen when you first log in, and then you tap on it to find the HWO one, and afterwards the syncing is automatic when your phone has Bluetooth turned on. So you can see here the activity tracking is the main panel that tells you how many steps you've walked out of a daily goal that you can program. When you first 
log into the app, you need to enter your uh, email and a password, and you can enter more information like your height and uh, also your stride length, which allows the app to calibrate to the tracker uh, more specifically. You know how to count each step as you're walking around, since each person's you know stride length will be different. It's fairly sensitive and it's uh, easy to use. We didn't encounter too many accuracy problems either when compared with the Xiaomi Amazfit Arc and other low-cost fitness trackers. It seems to do pretty well as far as accuracy. If you shake your hand around, it doesn't accidentally trigger as a step, so it remains fairly accurate. You can also take a look at uh, specific activities, distances walked, and other panels include sleep, so the sleep tracking is automatic. All you need to do is lie down, and the accelerometer will notice that you're not moving anymore. As a result, it's going to see how much light versus deep sleep you've been in. You can also set an alarm, since the tracker does have a vibration motor, so it's going to vibrate each time that you get an alarm or a notification, which you can set up through uh, Facebook, Twitter, WeChat, things like that. The next panel tells you your heart rate, and you can take a look at a bar down below in terms of tells you what range is normal, although it's not an intelligent app that tells you within your specific trends what heart rate isn't normal, and then it will contact your friends or family for help. So it doesn't do that, but it is fairly simple and straightforward, and it tells you your beats per minute in this easy-to-see layout. This is that current one, and then finally there's another bar chart that you can take a look at through multiple days in like a calendar in terms of how many steps you've taken per day, uh, which is also, again, fairly easy to use. Overall, I'd say that the app interface is simple, it's straightforward, it doesn't give you too many options or advanced settings that some folks may want. However, for first-time uh, fitness tracker users and the general consumer, they should be pleased with the experience you get using this app. Another thing that's interesting about the HW01 is there's a gesture where you can kind of flick your wrist and that briefly tells you the time in this vertical layout. It's slightly easier to, to read if it's on your wrist uh, compared to the traditional kind of horizontal view, but again, it's a unique function that you can access. Other things that Lenovo are, is working on in the future with the app includes uh, setting it up so you can take selfies just by tapping on a button there. That's really just a software thing that they would want to implement. Uh, but regardless, as far as fitness tracking activities are concerned, it works very well. If we just take a quick look at the heart rate tracking function, uh, finally, we can see that it will take a reading in approximately 20 seconds. It's recommended that you stay a little bit more still when it's recording your heart rate, but overall it works well, and you can see that uh, it's going to flash for a few seconds, and then it's going to turn off just to conserve on battery again. So it is fairly fast, it is fairly accurate, and no real complaints as far as tracking your heart rate. Granted, the HW01 isn't the most advanced tracker in the market. It lacks that blood pressure measurement, that's a blood oxygen level measurement that uh, some trackers are beginning to have. But if you're just looking for a basic model that does exactly what you want it to do with pretty good battery performance at around a week before you need to recharge it again, it's super comfortable to wear because the band is very soft and overall it's fairly accurate and simple, then this might be a model that you would want to consider. It's certainly not bad. Compared to the Xiaomi Mi Band 2, I feel like it's a bit more stylish looking and the larger display also helps if you have the occasional notification come in. It's sensitive, it's easy to use, easy to read, and although it lacks some of the bells and whistles of more expensive models, it's not a bad entry-level fitness tracker at all. So you can check out more details in our upcoming official written review, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Lenovo HW01 Basic Fitness Activity Tracker with Heart Rate Measurement.